I'd like to thank all the participants, the planning committee, and the Arthritis Foundation for putting on this important meeting. Osteoarthritis is a really widespread disease in the United States and around the world, and it's a leading cause of disability. But despite that, we really don't have treatments that can arrest the disease. We have drug therapies uh, for pain and to decrease inflammation, and there's surgical interventions that help for a while, but often osteoarthritis will continue to progress, and we do not have disease-modifying therapies. So we we're very interested in new trials and new ways to evaluate uh, interventions for osteoarthritis. And this meeting today is a direct outgrowth of an ongoing conversation with the uh, Arthritis Foundation and the FDA over ways to move forward in this disease. Most recently, in February of 2016, the Arthritis Foundation and FDA had a co-sponsored workshop on accelerating osteoarthritis clinical trials. And this was very important in discussing new trial designs and ways to attract um, pharmaceutical investment into this space. In doing trials of a symptomatic disease like osteoarthritis, it's really important to focus on the patient's experience. Um, how is the patient functioning? Uh, how is the therapy impacting them? How is the disease impacting them? And to understand the main symptoms of the disease and to have really good instruments to capture those symptoms, and make sure we are responding in the treatment to the main things that uh, bother the patient and limit the patient's lives. So, a real objective um, of that workshop was to figure out how in clinical trials you could measure these things. This Arthritis Foundation patient-focused drug development meeting will really give all the parties a chance to hear directly from the patients about their experiences with osteoarthritis. We're really interested in understanding the burden of the disease on patients. And equally, we're interested in understanding the burden of current treatments and how well they're doing in alleviating, uh, alleviating the symptoms. We'd like to know what symptoms or problems are most important for patients to have ameliorated and what they would expect out of a new therapy and how they would think that should be measured. So understanding the daily lives of patients, their experiences, how the burden of disease affects them in the various ways will really help us uh, develop patient reported outcomes so that we can get a very clear picture in trials of any impact that a new therapy is having, both for good and possibly also the downsides of the therapy, which is also very important to understand. What we've been doing with these patient-focused drug development meetings is um, getting a report called the voice of the patient. And in this case, the voice of the patient would come from the Arthritis Foundation, which is sponsoring the meeting. And that voice of the patient report is then taken by the FDA and put into our considerations of how trials uh, would be structured, what the endpoints might be, and how better patient um, reported outcome measures could be developed that would have a more authentic uh, capture of the impact of disease on patients and potentially the benefits of therapy. And all of this would then be incorporated in our benefit risk framework that we use in determining whether or not a new therapy should be approved for a disease. Because after all, it's the benefits to the patients and the potential harms to patients that have to be weighed in considering whether benefits outweigh the risks and a new treatment should be approved. So uh, I really appreciate the effort the Arthritis Foundation is taking, putting on this meeting and all the patients who are willing to um, come and share their experiences. These meetings have proven often to be um, very, very impactful both for the participants and for the FDA in our thinking about disease. 
And so um, you're pioneers in a way, helping to move this new field of patient engagement in drug development forward. And I, again, thank the Arthritis Foundation, the planning committee, and particularly the participants for making this happen.